This guy is a genius. And this episode was pretty good. <laughs> Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror has aired, and I was not disappointed. This episode gets so much right. Acting is on point, music is on point, the monsters are interesting, and most of all, the story is excellent. But what about the characters? The Doctor, quite rightly so, was starstruck, and once again, this was a strong performance from Jodie. It was great to be thrown directly into the action as she met Nikola Tesla and Dorothy at the start of the episode. My only issue, and it's a small one, was she was a bit brutal with how she handled the Scythra. I mean, I feel like she was kind of merciless. Graham was so so good in this episode. Him and Edison were so fun to watch as Edison made an off the cuff statement about the Brits. I think this may actually be one of Graham's strongest episodes. I also really enjoyed Yaz's performance, especially her scenes along Tesla in the spaceship. I think she has officially made her presence known now, and definitely not blending in nearly as much. It almost felt like Yaz could be the companion and Tesla could be the doctor. And it worked! So yeah, very strong performance. Ryan did the least out of the TARDIS team, but he still did a great job with what he was given. I really like Ryan's character, but if I was being picky, it would be great to see him do something a bit more climactic in the future, like what he did at the end of the Rosa episode with Crasco. Nikola Tesla may be one of the best historical figures we've had in Doctor Who. He was acted to perfection and I didn't once question that this man wasn't Tesla. He and the Doctor shared great moments, but he was also brilliant alongside the TARDIS team as well as Edison. A joy to watch. His assistant Dorothy was almost like a companion and this was cleverly hinted to by Ryan on the TARDIS. She too was a great character, and although she did not do as much towards the end, I still enjoyed all of her scenes. I was sure Edison was shaping up to be the villain, but I'm glad it turned out to be more complex than that. This episode featured some fantastic acting, and Edison was no exception. Like I say, him and Tesla were great on screen together. It was also nice to see them talk to each other during the last few scenes. Quite moving, actually. Overall, very, very strong and thoroughly entertaining. I can just tell that this is an episode that will go down as a classic. But now, let's focus on New Foes the Scythra. It's Villain Ranking! I love, love, love the Scythra. Their human slaves are creepy and they're just amazing. I have no words. The action from these villains was also very strong. So, where does this historical adventure rank? I didn't think it could be beaten this early, but Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror has to take the number one spot. So timeless and so enjoyable. But what did you think of this episode? Do you think it's a classic or was it just forgettable? Let us know in the poll or down in the comments below. If you ask us, it's a classic, and I think we'll be watching this one many more times. So, who's ready for the next adventure? The Jadoon are back and Earth is in danger. Fugitive of the Jadoon airs next Sunday at 10 past 7. If you're new, feel free to click the red button below to join the adventure. We'll be back next week for another review. I've been Christopher. And I've been Lewis. And you've been... Brilliant! Brilliant. Singing every day, every night, every day I'm watching Doctor Who